Hi, I'm Alex and this is Tank Tested. Today I want to share with you an aquarium that caught my eye at Aquashella, Dallas. This is a truly massive paludarium built by Custom Aquariums. It's home to some beautiful and rare animals. But we'll get to them later in this video. The enclosure itself is 6 feet across, 2 feet front to back, and 5 feet tall. That gives you a total volume of 60 cubic feet, which is enormous. The actual aquarium part of this setup is also pretty big. It holds about 135 gallons, which is larger than any aquarium I've ever owned. Now, I generally don't film what's underneath an aquarium, but today, well, today is no exception. You'll just have to trust that there is a sump down there that brings the water volume up to about 200 gallons. So why did this tank catch my eye, aside from the obvious fact that it's gigantic? Well, to answer that question, we have to look at a second aquarium I featured on this channel. It's another paludarium. Paludariums are special amongst planted aquariums because you can mix terrestrial plants with aquatic plants, and you can even bridge the gap with transitional plants that actually have a different form above and below the waterline. You can see what a fully grown out paludarium can be in another one of my videos. Uh, link is in the corner if you want to see the entire setup. Now, the plants at the setup at Aquashella were largely artificial. There were a few live plants in the mix though. There was the large bromeliad, which this frog found quite comfortable, and some aquatic swords below the waterline. But the other plants in this tank were fake, which actually makes sense, so hear me out. This tank was set up at a trade show. New plants take a few days to a few weeks to orient themselves towards a new light source, and they can take a while to look organic as a result. This tank needed to look good from day one. In addition, there's a Godzilla-like creature in this tank that would probably wreak havoc on plants that weren't fully established. But we'll get to him soon enough. In a few months, I'd love to see this set up again, fully planted and lush, but you need to go with plants that only require moderate humidity in this tank. That's because this setup uses an aluminum grate in its top that allows a lot of air to pass in and out of the aquarium. Now, I talked with Ted Judy of Custom Aquariums, and he explained they could install a solid top if the customers requested. Maybe you want high humidity for the plants or animals in the setup. But this aluminum grate system lets out enough humidity that the front glass stays clear of condensation. The most conspicuous part of this setup is the large backdrop and the big logs in this tank. They are all artificial, and it was created by Universal Rocks. Now, to me, artificial seems like your only option at this scale. Building something solid out of real hardscape would weigh hundreds if not thousands of pounds, and it would cost a jaw-dropping sum of money. If you're really crafty, you can build your own hardscape structure, which is something I've actually been working on with my friend Nick, so look for that tutorial. But prefabricated rocks like this are a great option as well, especially because if you use a drill and a little bit of tubing, you can get little waterfalls all over your structure incredibly easily, which can really allow you to fill in your hardscape with live mosses and live plants. The other aspect of this setup I wanted to mention were the sliding glass doors at the front of the paludarium. Without them, I don't really know how you could do anything in this tank, Imagine trying to do maintenance on an aquarium that's five feet deep and the rim is more than seven feet off the ground. That said, if this were my setup, I would have asked custom aquariums to put the access doors on the side of the tank rather than the front. That way you could have a totally uninterrupted view of the scape. It would mean you wouldn't be able to have a backdrop that wraps around all three sides, but that's a trade-off I think I'd be willing to make. Now, under the waterline, there's a collection of South American fish. There are a few dozen neon tetras here, and a dozen or so Colombian tetras. There's also a pretty big collection of angelfish in this tank, but they're very good at disappearing into the shadows. 
That's a bummer for me filming the tank, but I'm sure it makes them feel more comfortable, as angels really thrive in a heavy cover environment. Finally, there is one other animal in this enclosure. The Cayman Lizard. They are a semi-aquatic lizard from South America, and they grow to be quite large. This guy is probably about half the size of a full-grown adult. While they spend a lot of their time in the water, like any lizard, they need a place to bask, which is why there are heat lamps in the enclosure and areas for them to lay in. My instinct is that if this were a permanent home for this guy, he'd probably need a few more horizontal surfaces in the terrestrial half of the habitat. So you'd have to design your scape with that in mind. Now, caiman lizards typically don't hunt fish. They mainly eat snails in the wild, so they can coexist happily with the fish in this tank. In fact, they all have the same temperature requirements for the water. But because these are big animals with a big bio load, you really need to keep up on your water changes to keep everyone healthy and happy. Personally, they aren't an animal that I would keep but I think it's a pretty awesome tank that gives you a great idea of what's possible, if you're willing to spend the cash. This whole setup with everything in the tank is somewhere between five and $7,000, which is more than I'll ever be spending on an aquarium, but it's still pretty amazing given the size of the setup. I've left a link to custom aquariums in the description of this video if you'd like to check out their work. I've also left a link to the Aquashella Convention because without them, I would have never gotten to see this setup. Now hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with another video.